Whenever I go to get a job and have an interview, the ladies always use the same maneuvers. They tell me how short my hours will be, how little I'll have to do with their Electroluxes and their Hoovers. That's when I fix them with my coldest gaze and tell them what my husband Egbert says. If you can't get in the corners, you might as well give up. That's what he maintains. No matter how you rig it, you can never trust a spigot. He explains that inventions of the devil with their wheezing and their ham. Give me a piece of cheesecloth, you can keep your vacuum. Oh, one might do very well for getting fleas off from a pup. But if you can't get in the corners, you might as well give up. Now Egbert, he used to sell them vacuums from door to door. I met him when he came to demonstrate. He put on such a pretty act there on the parlor floor. I fell in love and soon he was my mate. But Egbert changed his tactics then and there. He said, you can put them devices, you know where. Oh, we have a friend, a Mrs. Grimes, who hires out by the hour. We tried to warn her, but she only sneered. And this house had got a new vacuum when she plugged in the power. One whoosh, her combinations disappeared. As Mrs. Grimes remarked that night, her underwear was clean. But what unnerved I was having them snatched off by machine. Oh, if you can't get in the corners, you might as well give up. And me, I do agree. For a thing that sucks and blows through a nozzle or a hose just ain't for me. Why get tangled with electric cords in a blooming, billowing bag when all you need is a bit of spit in your finger and a rag? Oh, I hate a thing that whizzes and goes slop, slop. If you can't get in the corners, you might as well give up.